G'day guys, my name is Elton Pan. welcome to our channel. Normally we're showcasing you our travels around Australia, but since we're in COVID lockdown, we can't travel anywhere. So I thought I would show you some cooking segments. So give us a chance, this is my first cooking segment on camera. So yeah, bear with me. And what are we gonna cook up tonight is, got some beautiful, nice banana prawns from Woolies and special. So we're gonna cook them up. So first of all, we just got to clean it up a little bit. So I'll show you how I do it. It's probably not the right way, but uh, give it a crack. So all I want to do with these guys is rip the heads off them. And if you just squeeze it there, yeah, rip the heads off. And I want to try and get that gut lining out of them. Sometimes you can pull them out. Sometimes you have to get the knife on them and just give it a quick little cut. With a nice sharp knife, and yeah, you can get the guts out of them there. Quick little wash, and yeah, that one was a bit of a fail. I'll show you another one just along the back. And that's it. Now, I'm just gonna give it another wash. And I'll uh, bring you back when I finished the whole bloody kilo and a half of them. <laughs> Alright guys, got that done. Here is what they look like. Now, these ones are really fresh and they seem really good, but if, if you get some done a little bit old and a bit of a smell to it, what you can do is you can just wash it with a squeeze of lemon juice, just a little sprinkle of flour, give it a quick mix and, and rinse it off, and that will just get rid of that sometimes you get that really fishy smell to it and yeah but it does, this one doesn't need it because it doesn't smell at all it must be pretty good ones anyway so what i've done is i've just given a quick brush again and now i've got an onion one about this size and i just chopped it up and what i'm going to do with it is i'm going to mince it up and this thing if you if you don't know what it is it's a little it's a little hand powered blender or mincer really and it's really good hey we use it a lot because obviously we go camping and stuff a lot so i'm just going to chuck the onions in here and i want to just mince it up so it's going to be a nice base for gravy so yeah it's just a little pull cord thing like your little lawnmower starter and have a go at this right there you go that quick and easy that's all nicely minced up and what I'm going to do I'm going to put that in a bowl and I'm going to get a tomato and do the same thing I'm just going to do one whole tomato nice ripe tomato you can use tin tomatoes too if you want but we've got the fresh stuff so why not use the fresh stuff hey anyways there you go hey so quick and easy these we just got this from Kmart I think they're like $10 or something like that hey. and yeah, eight dollars. There you go. And so this is this is actually the second one we used. We broke one only because the kids dropped it on the floor and cracked it. But yeah, they're so good. Hey, alrighty. Oh, that's good. Alright, guys. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mince up some garlic. I've got about one head of garlic. We've got a kilo of prawns there. I think it was just a little bit over. So this will be good enough for that. And then just one chili because. Sometimes it gets a bit too hot for the boys. They normally don't mind it, but if you want it hotter, like I do, just grab a chili and munch on it on the side. So once again, real quick and easy. Okay. Don't have to go stupid or crazy and get it all really fine. Like that's probably good enough. Well, okay, this is a good little trick. Not many, not too many people know about it, but just use a spoon to scrape the skin off the ginger that way you don't waste too much of the ginger meat because if you eat ginger you'd know they're bloody expensive uh i just decided i'm going to chuck some ginger in there so that's how much i'm putting in there you can put as much as little as you like you know according to your taste and you can do it either with the garlic or you can do it a little bit later i was gonna do it later but i just decided to do it now because maybe and you might have seen i um Just minced it up a bit more with the ginger and the garlic and the chili. That's all there's in there. 
I'll get this cleaned up and then I'll put in some spices in here because that will be ready for our base. Right guys, looking good. Time for the spices. This is turmeric powder and I'm just gonna put in like what, one heap teaspoon, you call that? So that goes in there. And this other one is, uh, I think it's called garam masala. And same, again, just a heap teaspoon. And guys, you can get these, it's from your Asian aisle of the coals and woolies. Easy to get these stuff nowadays. So I'm just gonna quickly mix that in a little bit and that will be our base. Now I'm gonna probably add just a little bit of water in it to wet it up a bit. So yeah, I'll do that. Just a little bit of water in there. Cause that masala stuff is really powdery and was just soaking a lot of water. I think that'll be all right. You can add some more in, maybe. See how we go. I'm not really good at this, I'm just doing it. <laughs> okay guys, I've just turned the cooker on. I'm just gonna put it on high to get it going. This is an electric one, it takes about ages to heat up. I normally cook on the gas, but it's too cold outside. <laughs> Today in, in Tasmania. Mm, this is uh, cumin seeds. And once again, you can get it from Coles and Woolies in the Asian aisle. I'm just gonna put in a couple of pinches. Yeah, that much. And uh, the pan's not hot yet, so I'll just chuck those in. And what's gonna happen is the pan gets hot, they'll get nice and toasty. And then we'll put the oil in after the pan gets hot. All right, let's just show you how much I put in there, all right? Yeah, not, not too much, but just enough. Okay, so the, the pan's getting a bit of temperature in it, and I'm gonna put in some oil. Now, because this is not a non-stick pan, I'm gonna need a, a fair bit of oil. It's only vegetable oil, so, or canola, what is it? Yeah, vegetable oil, Australian vegetable oil, so, I don't need to be too worried about it, but you wanna make sure the base is covered in oil, otherwise you might have problems with it sticking. So it looks like a lot of oil, but you'll be all right. It's just vegetable oil. Good for you. I want, I want that oil to be nice and hot because I want this onion, so it's going to go in first. Now, I, I um, decided to put a bit more water in there, get it nice and runny. I think that's how mum does it. <laughs> Hi, mum. I hope uh, I'm not doing too many mistakes in this one. All right, so you can see now these cumin seeds are starting to bubble up a little bit, a bit of temperature on the oil. And we'll chuck the onions in first. Oh yeah. Right. Now, I'm just gonna turn that down a little bit. I don't want it to be too hot and burn too quickly. But, my mum always used to say to me, I'm oh, sorry, I just said it's not good on, it's probably a bit noisy, but it's gonna smoke out otherwise. Right? Yeah, we'll let the onions go and get nice and caramelized, I guess. Yeah, mum used to always say to me when she's trying to teach me how to cook, is you just go nice and slow with the onions, because the more well cooked your onions are, the more flavoursome the meal will be, because the onions give off a lot of flavour at this stage. Alright guys, the onions are looking good and smelling good. What I'm going to do next, I'm just going to put the, the uh, curry powder and stuff in. And I'm just going to let that cook a bit. And mix it in with onion. Once again, it's just on like a medium heat, medium high. Not too hot. Hot, but not max. Leave it for a bit. And what I'm going to do is in that same container with all that nice masala and stuff, I'm going to put some water in there because we'll need that a little bit later on. But that way I get the most out of that flavour from that 
Perfecto. Uh, ahora vamos a hacer steak. Could have probably put a little bit more oil on there, but it's all right. It's doing its thing. Try not to bang on the thing for your sake. <laughs> Now you can see in there, that, you can see that oily bit now happening. That's what you want, hey. I mean, all that water I put in there, it's done its job, it's evaporating away. You left for that oil that also comes out of the masala anyway. So that's what you want, Put a little bit more on this one. And because prawns, like most seafood, they don't take very long to cook at all. You, What you're really doing is you're making a base, and you'll see later, just make that base how you like it and then you just chuck it in and should be done pretty quick all right guys the um masai is just starting to stick a little bit and it smells beautiful which is good to go now nice to taste it so what i've done also i had that one tomato that I minced up and i just chopped up another one and chucked it all in put that in and mix it all up and let that cook a little bit a bit of a um, instead of a, like a fry pan I'd probably use a, a pot but we haven't we just haven't got one here with us so we're just making use of what we've got and yeah we normally have it in a caravan but we didn't bring a caravan down here so yeah we're just dealing with what we have supplied in the house which is pretty good anyway so you can see that all that moisture is coming out of the tomatoes Okay guys, now that is looking really good, smelling awesome. Um, there's a few different ways to do this thing. What I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna put the prawns in there now. So I'll grab the prawns, make sure they drain it again. Chuck them in. And just stir it in, mix it all up with that, all that nice flavor and base. Yeah, so mix it all up and what I'm going to do is find the lid and just chuck the lid on there and let it heat up and cook a little bit before I go to the next step. Yeah guys, so while that's cooking away, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a cheats version of cooking rice here out of the way and just a big container and I'm going to make two cups of rice because there's going to be lots of prawns left over and make rice left over too and then we get easy meal next time anyway so two cups of rice what i'm going to do is give it a quick bit of a wash quick bit of a wash Look, try not to waste too much in there and then this is the secret for me anyway you put in, no matter how many cups of rice you're making, a little more, you put in water over the top. You put your finger in there, when you got the water in there, and you want the water. So you can imagine this is the top of the rice level. Your finger's touching the rice, the water for me, on that first mark, 
and that always works beautiful for me, especially for this basmati rice. And no lid in the microwave. In the microwave for 15 minutes in this microwave, and obviously it'll depend on your different microwaves. But yeah, that works for me. You can forget about it. And yeah. So anyways, back to the prawns here. They are looking pretty good. Okay, so once again, it's very low heat. Oh yeah, now it's not it's not good. What I think I might do is I might add some water to it because I want it to be quite soupy. That's how I like it anyway. And the soupiness, like you just make it however you like it. So I put some water in there. So uh, first of all, I put in this water we saved from the spices, chuck that in there and I'll probably need another whole one of these. And if you want to, you can chuck in some hot water so it doesn't cool the pot down too much. I think for me, I'll leave it at that much. Let it sort of cook in there for a bit. I've got it on low heat, so it might take a little while. Right, so I'm just gonna chop up some coriander and like, you know, coriander is not just bloody garnish. It is the flavor. The more, the better. What's going on? It smells like pool. <laughs> Someone knows their prawn. <laughs> and that's why we have to get a kilo of prawn because he will eat half of it. What do you reckon, mate? It smells all right? Yeah, prawn. All right, well, got a bit to wait yet. Hey, yummy. He got some prawn. Yummy, yummy, prawn. <laughs> okay, guys, she's looking real good, eh? She's simmering away nicely. And I'm just going to put in some salt. And this is how I always do it, eh? About that much. You see that? Just chuck it in. Give it a bit of a taste. Oh, I'll go a little bit more. Salt's good. And uh, yeah, it's looking really good now. Not long now, it should be done. Now, guys, if you um, if you can get a hold of it, <laughs> uh, right now is when I would probably put in some coconut milk. Maybe about 180, 250 grams. Probably be about 200, 200 grams in this one, or 200 milliliters, I should say. And um, that will just make it so much nicer. But being it's COVID times right now, I could not find any of the shell. Couldn't find any bloody coconut milk or any flour. So, yeah. But if you can get it, chuck it in now and it should be good. What do you reckon? Alright, guys, I reckon those prawns are pretty close to, to being cooked. I'm just gonna give it a quick taste test for salt and flavour. See how she goes, hey? Ooh, that's good. Mmm. Righto. I'm going to turn that stove off now. I'm going to chuck in the coriander. Now the chef's got it in it. Chuck it all in. I'll give it a little bit of a mix up. Like I said guys, coriander is not just for garnish. It's good flavour. Over here. Alright guys, hope you can see that. I'm just gonna cut one open because Jaden wants a prawn, so you can see that's cooked through. See that in there? Anyways, I'm gonna give one to Jaden to taste, but it's a bit hot mate, I have to wait a minute. Beautiful, right? It's that guy, how you going? Try that. Good? Yum! <laughs> I'm gonna try one myself. Oh, good. Been a while since I had some prawns. Hi right, guys, here's our cheap rice. Looks pretty good to me. And I'll uh, serve it up for the missus. How's that? And then, start of the show. Have a look at that. Once again, guys, you can make it as soupy or as dry as you would like. It's entirely up to your preference and taste. 
And I'm gonna go all bloody hiwi here on you. <laughs> and uh, someone's loving their pawns over there. There we go. How's that? How's that? Beautiful. Right. Well, I think we'll swap, and you can try it out and be a judge of how good it is. Right. Right, guys. Moment of truth. <laughs> Didn't look too sure there. Mm. <laughs> right guys, thanks for watching. As you can see, it's very easy. Not many ingredients. Stuff is easy to get. Spices are easy to get nowadays. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, please subscribe to our channel for future cook-ups and travel. Check out the rest of the videos. We've got some traveling in Tasmania and whatnot. And yeah, have a good one. Catch ya.